Autonomous AI trucks might completely replace truck drivers, but there's a lot to do before that happens. Autopilots seem crazy until Tesla came along and there's also self-driving taxis in Las Vegas and San Francisco. So why should it be any different for semi trucks? If you are a trucking company owner, you might be thinking about all the implications that this might have for your business and your drivers. We are going to cover how this might affect your business sooner than you think. How long it will be until we see autonomous trucks driving on the road and if they'll actually end up replacing truck drivers entirely. My name's Amrit and I have helped some of the largest trucking companies in North America seat over 5,000 trucks in the past five years and tomorrow I might be seeding zero trucks. Now before you click off this video, don't fire all of your truck drivers just yet. When we talk about autonomous trucks, you have to realize they are not completely robots just yet. They still need a driver inside, much like when you are driving a Tesla to make sure the truck doesn't crash. Even when the autopilot does 90% of the driving, having drivers inside while having autopilot on will allow truckers to put on even more miles with less risk of them getting tired and ultimately making driving more safe for both the driver and the cars around them. This is also a benefit to trucking companies because you can get more miles out of what you are paying drivers while keeping them safer sounds like a win-win situation. Many drivers also say this helps work-life balance and having more energy to do other activities after being on the road for so long. The trucking industry is also in a weird spot right now. With an aging workforce and a shortage of truck drivers, self-driving trucks could help alleviate labor shortages and allow newer wave of truckers to get more experience while the older workforce retire. Now, how long is it going to be until we get fully autonomous trucks? To be honest, there's a lot of different answers. Autonomous trucks would likely start on the most traveled highways first, like the Texas Triangle, which as we know moves 15% of all freight in America and branch out from there. Higher volumes of freight would allow engineers to collect data more quickly, which will allow faster development in the advancements of the truck. Truck manufacturers leading the charge in self-driving semis like Aurora, who are backed up by $400 million in investment, are looking to have fully driverless prototypes built by the end of 2024 and the potentially thousands by the end of 2027. But we've seen in the past, especially when it comes to tech companies, that fast deadlines sometimes be more of a dream than an actual target to hit. So who knows how long it might be until you're looking out of the window of your car and you see no one driving a semi? I know we can only see so far into the future, but will these self-driving trucks actually replace truck drivers entirely? Entirely. Many drivers have suggested this technology may be good for long stretches on the highway when there's nothing, but not good for city limits where there's more distractions. The general sentiment is that robots are also not going to be capable of driving through bad weather conditions or environments like roads with potholes anytime soon. If trucks do end up having the technology to go fully autonomous in the future, while it may be financially beneficial for the trucking businesses and the companies shipping freight, it will displace nearly 3.5 million truck drivers across the United States alone, which is hard to know of what the ramifications of that would be going for. To put it shortly, self-driving trucks aren't going to be here for a while. And in the meantime, you're still going to have to hire qualified drivers to move your loads across the country, even if they have the help of autopilot along the way. If you're a trucking business owner, have over 10 trucks in your fleet and are looking to grow your company, click the link in the description, check out the video on the page, and if it's a good fit, we'll work together. Thanks for watching and make sure you subscribe to the next video.